boys are the future. In the present, Ahan have league games to win. Every performance must match the demands of tradition. The cornerstone of our life for us at home has been running with a hand. Everybody likes to know where they've come from and who they are and what they are. I think in order for us to fully appreciate who we are, I just think we need to see something of Mackey. So I'm going to make a stab at trying to find something. Vera Mulcahy is John Mackey's daughter and Mick Mackey's niece. Three so yeah, some serious photo now. He's a uh, tip by are obviously trying now back to them, I think, without Obviously, I'd say a tough Monster Championship match. That'll, that'll be John, obviously, there. You see the fair hair and then the... Yes, that's my dad. This photograph intrigues me. In all their years playing, of the two of them, in a club kit or a county jersey, Mick and John, that's the only copy of a photograph of the two brothers. John was an absolutely fabulous hurler, and I suppose people, like, there's probably people in the sea, Mackie, they think Mick, but John is equally as good by, every, by everybody's recollection that you need even in a hand. Well, I rooted out um, an old videotape that was given to me by an uncle of mine about 10 or 12 years. It's not of Mick playing or okay. John, it's an interview from the 1960s. Okay. Never before, and arguably only one since, has there been such a player. Even now, 40 years later, there is magic in the name of Mackey. All our team were, were uh, in their own position. Like, they were all good, so better than any of them, actually. <laughs> in their day. It's comfortable. Now, now. It was harder than no time, anyhow. There's, there's no uh, shoulder to shoulder business. And the tackling I say was close, or impossibly hard. It was a tough boy. Would you agree in your time that you charged with the ball, that you took it and charged past, that you went through backs rather than on them? Well, that wasn't a bit particular anyway. <laughs> I like his style there night. He took no prisoners. I loved hurling. From, of course, it was only natural that my father had been hurling. My grandfather. But uh, I liked hurling, really. And uh, I found it very easy. It came very easy to me. Mick was more the showman, the Muhammad Ali. He, he liked to yeah. play to the crowd, whereas my father, John, was the more retiring type of person. Whether or not Mackey went on too long, was a greater player than Ring, or surpassed present-day players, is debatable. The great pity is that he came before television, and his greatness can only live on in the minds of those who saw him. It is a massive pity that he played before television because it's still a pity that people don't get to see him in action. I think it's his actions as opposed to his words that will live forever in people's minds. His son is commemorated by the Mackey stand at the Gaelic grounds in Limerick. The club with whom he won 15 county titles in his time added only one more in the 50 years after his retirement in 1948. Unacceptable for many in a club with such a proud history. And county titles number 16. They have to go back to 1955 for their success. Their first title in 1941. And the Double Oval Championship in the Ollie and Niall Morn were part of the revival. The club were back in the Gaelic grounds on, on county final day. That was a massive occasion and the fact that you know we we won on that day as well uh, was huge. It was very, very hard ever to, to surpass 98. I think ultimately you're judged on, on can you retain your title. It's now won by Ali Moore. Pricing this one high. It's going to be close. That's a truly magnificent point. And in front by three points, and it's all over. And retain their title.
added another county title in 2004. The club had the same manager for all three wins. There is a weight of responsibility down in what of everyone's shoulders who decides to become involved with senior hurling, whether you're a player or you're operating the jerseys or you're a selector or you're involved in management or training, there's a massive weight of responsibility. And the fact that the hand are possibly the most successful team in Limerick, well then you don't want to be a member of the generation that you allow some other team to overtake you. I played in a Munster minor hurling final in Thurles in 1977 and uh, Mick Mackey was in the stand. I, I, uh, I was talking to him before it, but it was like uh, you had uh, the world's expert looking down on top of you and you knew you had to achieve and try and perform <laughs> under that. All you need name, say, is a hand. And if people haven't heard of a hand, you say, Mick Mackey, and uh, they cock up the eyes straight away. <laughs> so. <laughs> so it was, it's, it's, it's great to have it at the back here. Niall's quest for footage brings him to London. I suppose every kid from my hand has been reared on stories of Mackie throughout all the years. I suppose we have stories and but there's a lot of photos to go with Mackie. You've seen his jerseys, you've seen his hurlies. One thing that I've been amazed to discover in recent time is that we have no archive footage of Mick Mackey, even in Crow Park, let alone Crow Park, it's not even in Ireland. So here we are in England, we think we've discovered some footage from the 30s and 40s, and if we can get this home it's going to be amazing. Just in case any of the faces that I might recognise them, I have this photo as a backup. But here you have um, the 1940 team, that uh, second last Limerick team actually, who won the Ireland. There's my own godfather, McKiki. Um, there's Mackie. Mick Mackie played before television coverage was commonplace in Ireland. But footage of All Ireland finals from the 1930s is stored among the newsreels in the vaults of ITN. And it may include snippets of Mackie in action. For Niall, even a fleeting glimpse of his hero would be invaluable. Here we have the 36 final, I think. A record crowd of 51,000 packs Dublin's great stadium for the big day of the Irish. This guy's Lord Jack Henning. The same two clubs as last year are fighting. There's Mackie there in front. Um, Tim Goodbye Ryan there, third up, I'd say. by one point, so this year it looks as if the fight will be tougher than ever. It's unbelievable to see this. Thing. Once the game is on, they all forget that that's... Mackie there now in the middle. Right from the start, Kilkenny attack. Judging by this fall up. Yeah, the knife. Just see them here wailing at each other, like... Just they're pulling their... It's no days guys would never hope, but... Stan is surviving that. It's Mackie there now again. He was one of the finest hurdles that Ireland's ever had. He's up there himself in Christy Ring. Just like to see him like you're, It's going to be amazing to be honest because you hear so much and even just the, the sheer size of him just to see him in movement. 